morning, everybody. I want to welcome you here to the Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're here, final day of the series for the month of November of my 30 favorite rock drummer albums. This is day 30, and this is the number one album on my list. Rush's Fly By Night. Was there any surprises there? Not for me, there wasn't, but for maybe for you guys, maybe you thought I would have picked uh, one of the live albums for that. But I actually love this album, and the reason I love this album, a lot of it has to do with the incredible drumming. So this was really Neil Peart's first album with Rush, and uh, he was—I think he was a little bit different here than he than he was later on. Here he's not as technical, although he's very technical. Uh, not as technical, a little bit more flamboyant, maybe a little bit more metalish. I guess, maybe might be the word to describe it. Um, you've got some really killer stuff on here. Anthem, really keeping up absolute incredible beat on this track. Alex Lifeson's amazing on this as well. Um, Best I Can, Beneath, Between, Behind, he's a little bit more faster paced but heavy drum parts on this as well. And you get to the absolutely killer stuff on Bitor and the Snow Dog. He is dominant on this particular track, the way he is on so many of the tracks that require that kind of dominant drumming. Very technically sound, um, lots of triplets, lots of drum parts here, double basses all over this particular track. This is great. Then you get a couple of tracks on the backside like Fly by Night and Make it Memories, where he's still kind of a dominant force on those two, even though they're a little bit more of subdued songs. Fly by Night, of course, um, there's a video for that, which is killer with him on the drums. This drum set was so small back then, too. And then you've got um, In the End, which is just more melodicness than anything else. But this has long been one of my favorite albums, period, as well as being one of the favorite drum part albums. Obviously, it's my favorite. Yes, I do like those two live uh, albums as well, but I can only pick two albums for the series um, because that was the rule I set, no more than two albums per, per band for the series. And uh, this one had to be one of the two. And of course, you have to put moving pictures in there because of the iconic Tom Sawyer stuff going on there. And YYZ as well, uh, as well, where with the live parts, more of a solo stuff, which are, which were both great. But I actually prefer the live sets he's done much later in his career because of his versatility changed quite a bit. And But I still like the rawness of this album. It's strong, heavy. This album has still kind of got that metalish element to it hard rock, metalish element to it, um, but they were starting to change into what they would eventually become at this point. Also, I love this album cover. Almost all the tunes on here are catchy as hell. Bitor being probably my favorite now, but at times, Making Memories and Best I Can and Anthem of All had that realm at different times. So this is kind of a transitionary album, but the drums are absolutely killer on it. Um, yeah, I just love to crank it and listen to those drums. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this series. It was fun to do. Um, I got to listen to some albums I haven't listened to for a while. Got to talk about those albums, which I always like to do. Uh, I hope you, uh, enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe and the notification bell for the next series coming. Any comments about Rush's Fly By Night or Rush in general or Neil Peart or any of the drummers in the series. If you want to put your your 30 picks in below, you can do that. Or if you just want to take 10 and put them in, you can do that as well. Whatever you want to do, you can put that in the bottom uh, on my comment section and I'll try to answer it. Or uh, if it doesn't require an answer, I'll give you the thumbs up if, it, if I like it or talk about what you why you chose this or that. Anything you want to do, I'm open to it. And it's been fun doing this series of November. It's now officially over. We will be starting the new series tomorrow, which are 
my favorite 31 albums from the month of December. So these will all be albums that were released in the month of December in their prospective years. It's actually a reason I, well, I'll get into that when we get to it. We'll talk about that tomorrow. So I hope, I hope to see you all then. Take care and have yourself a good night. Goodbye.